Okay, and you know, another good thing uh, to put on your squeeze page is a video of yourself talking about the product. This is so powerful, people. This is a really good strategy, and I'll, I'm going to tell you why. Most people want to relate uh, to somebody else, someone human, obviously, and, and, and when we're via the internet, internet and, we're, and, we're, and we're dealing with a lot of, um, we're dealing with just um, uh, going from website to website, you know, and, and we're surfing the net, and we, you know, it's, it's a very, it's, it's a very sterile, um, sterile thing. There's not a lot of human contact. So when you put on a video, where you're talking on the video, they can connect with you, they can see who you are, they can hear your voice. It, 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 brings, uh, it brings a human aspect to, to what they're seeing. And like any, if, you know, like, like any business, people relate more to the people that are on the other side rather than the product. Oftentimes, it's it's more about who they people who people trust than what the product is okay so put put your put a video of yourself on on your front page of your website very powerful um it engages people it brings them in and i can't recommend it high i i, I this is such a good idea that doesn't get a higher recommendation Okay, now most squeeze pages have three aspects to it. They have a basic outline. Okay, there is a headline, and uh, let me, I'm showing you um, an example. This is a, a squeeze page from my friend Kim Roach, and um, the, the squeeze page for her has the three basic outline, the three basic points. It has a headline. And as you can see, her headline is "Discover My Secret Source for Grabbing Front Page Google Rankings Within 24 Hours." And now, the the headline should grab you. It should it should uh, it should pull you in. Okay, uh, it should it should grab your attention. It, it should be an attention gaining headline. And then the bullets, the bullet points, should talk talk about why this product is going to be worthwhile to you. Find out exactly how I get front page rankings on Google within 24 hours. I will even reveal some of my money making front page listings. And discover th the three step process for finding buyer keyword phrases that send 100 targeted visitors with credit card in hand. How to get your page index in minutes instead of days or even weeks. Now this is great because the the, the bullet points should make you, ex should get also, should should get you excited off of what the headline says. The headline should captivate you. The bullets should should excite you. And then the call to action is where you sign up, where the, the your customer or the the traffic that comes to your site signs up for your free gift. Okay, and those are very important. Three aspects to having a good squeeze page are those three right there. And if you were going to have a video on your squeeze page. I'll show you right now. You could put a video, say, right here. Just a, that's my video box. That's pretty good, right? And you're in the center and stay, and you're saying, hi everyone, this is Kim Roach or Casey Zeman and thank you so much for coming to my site and here you're going to find a wonderful gift that I have for you that talks about how to increase your traffic and um, help your business increase your business um, to the next level and so you can have a video right right above there and, and don't worry we I'm gonna show you how to in later videos how to embed video onto your squeeze page how to put your opt-in box which this is right here this is your opt-in box right here how to have that on your squeeze page and so forth so so don't worry okay but, but today as I said it's just an overview and we're moving on now the hub site. Now a hub site is your main website. Now your squeeze page is what you market with, but your hub site is going to have content, all right? It's going to be content driven and it's going to pretty much talk about what your business is. Now I've seen, you know, there are there are three general, I'd say general um, 
hub pages or websites out there. Um, and you know, by hub, I mean it's like you know, the hub is where everybody goes. You know, it's like it's it's you know, like a plane goes back into its hub. You know, it's like this is the the place where where people go to get the content. So your a blog site, okay, um, that is one uh, form of a of a hub page or a website. Um, you know, and I've seen it as a, you know, a WordPress blog or a blogger site or, or any of those things. And I'll, and I'll come on to that in a minute as well. A membership site. Now, these are very popular right now, extremely popular. Uh, membership sites are great because uh, they are, they, they, you have subscribers that come to your site and, uh, and, and it's a monetized site at that point where they pay a monthly uh, a monthly mem membership fee. Okay, very powerful, and it's a good it's a good system to have. And and um, um, this is not necessarily the place you, where you start. You end up to at a, a membership site later on. I'd say for beginners, we should all start with a blog site. Okay, that's pretty much um, the beginning aspects of, of having an online business. Now the other aspect is an uh, advertising site for an offline business. So what that simply means, just like a uh, you know like an artist would have a website um, where you know they have you know they they sell their 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 paintings and things like that. But if someone wants to learn more about them, they go to their um, their web website. And uh, this kind of website is more for advertising, and it's not necessarily uh the same as say you know like monetizing uh online however uh this is i i have i have seen this so if you have a specific business you're going to advertise um you're going to have have an advertised web have an av a website that does advertising and i've also seen it to where it has blogs a blog site feature where you can actually have um comments left and things like that so so the this one, one and three, you can oftentimes have together. Okay, so let's move on. And your main website is where people come to see what your business is all about. Obviously, uh, you're going to have heavy, strong, good content at your at your website. Um, it is going to be. It's going to be you. Your website is going to be you, and why you are a um, why why you are a master at whatever you do, or why you are the professional you are at whatever business you're in. Okay, um, and that that's very important. That your website is going to show you as a professional in whatever you're doing. Okay. Now the most common of these is the blog site, like I had said I've said before. And WordPress has made setting up a blog site as easy as just, as I've said here. I'm saying here is as tying your shoelaces or tying your shoes with laces. Um, it's very user friendly, uh, very simple to set up, and um, you know with WordPress you can have it where WordPress actually um, hosts the account, uh, and it's very simple. You can actually have a WordPress blog site set up in five minutes, and I'll, I'll have more videos on that. Um, as uh, as as we go through a lot of these tutorials, um, I'm going to have how to create a squeeze page and how to create a WordPress blog. Okay, and I'm going to show you uh, really good videos for that. Another thing is your your blog site can actually have an opt-in form in it. You know, remember what I said? What the opt-in form was? It was your um, subscriber box, where the subscriber can come in and put their name and their email in the box, and that's what an opt-in form is. And you can have that on your website, and it's it's very powerful to have. Um, you know, I. I recommend obviously you have it on your squeeze page because you just want to give them the one option, but you can also have it on your website um, because you still want to give them the option of signing up to your subscriber list. Now, I'm going to say that conversion wise, when they sign up to your squeeze page, into your opt in box in your squeeze page, there's a better conversion than when they sign 